Okay, we're here. Sorry about the delay, everybody. Uh, my capture card was messing up again, so I had to fix it. And now it's fixed, so we're good. Sorry about that. I keep being late to the stream. I just set the time like 10 minutes later than I normally think I will, so I have time to fix any problems. But why do there gotta be problems? Why can't it just work? It was working last time. Why's it gotta stop working for no reason? Friggin' technology. How's everybody doing? Sorry it's been a while since there's been uh, much activity on the channel. Uh, I've been very, very busy, uh, so I didn't get to stream the Splatfest like I wanted to. I barely got to play the Splatfest at all. Uh, and I haven't had a lot of time to work on videos, uh, but I literally, just before the stream, finished rendering the Penny's Big, Bre Penny's Big Breakaway review. So that'll probably be going up on the Patreon and Coffee uh, later today, and then I'll go up on the channel publicly tomorrow around the usual time. You hate technology? So do I. We should go back to all living on goat farms. That was clearly much better. Pariah jump scare. I do what I can. Uh, how do I have accurately translated subtitles on my story videos if I don't know Japanese? They are translations made by Wendy, uh, who is a community member that has taking it upon herself to translate, like, every single Sonic thing ever. Uh, and she's super awesome. How's it going? I'm doing pretty well. I just ate lunch. Uh, now I'm doing this. It got uh, Penny's Big Breakaway got a patch on Switch to play at 60 FPS. That's cool. Does it run, like, well at 60 FPS? I assume they put a cap at 30 because it the Switch couldn't handle it, maybe? But I guess I guess if it's fine, that's cool. She did some amazing Mega Man work. Yeah, she's done Mega Man as well. And that, like, destroyed her YouTube channel a while ago. But she's starting to re-upload stuff on her new channel. Uh, Dot T. Do I think it's more of Sonic Team or Sega's fault about the canon slash game quality is not good? Well, the game quality not being good, definitely part of that falls on Sega, because they're like, no, you gotta hit the 15th anniversary. It doesn't matter if the game's not done. Uh, or the 30th anniversary, or the whatever -th anniversary, or just hit the holiday season. Uh, but also some of it does come down to the developers, because there's... there's there is just problems that are not due to time constraints. There are problems due to bad choices being made. But uh, as far as canon stuff goes, I don't imagine Sega gives a flying fuck what, Se what Sonic Team does with Sonic. As long as it's printing money, they're probably fine with whatever. <laughs> That's just my guess. I don't imagine that Sega really gets involved in what Sonic Team is doing. I mean, you look at what they were doing throughout the 2000s, that is not uh, someone is overseeing you, telling you what to do. That's some people having weird fucking ideas and doing strange things that they should not be doing. What is my opinion on the Sonic Heroes remake? Uh, we'll see if that's real. Uh, I don't know how uh, believable that leak is, but I find it somewhat questionable because why would Sonic Heroes get a remake? That game in particular, like, that's not a particularly beloved Sonic game. People aren't like, oh, yeah, Sonic. Like, that game has mixed reception. That was, like, the first Sonic game that people were like, eh, I don't know about this one. So why would that one get a remake? It, it doesn't make any sense to me. The only thing that does make sense of why you would remake Heroes over the adventure games is, one, I think Heroes is one of the best-selling Sonic games, simply due to the fact that it was the first multi-platform one. But also because they can't do the adventure games because the adventure games do not follow modern branding. Because it's got humans and epic anime stories and shit. So they couldn't re-release the adventure games in new versions. But Heroes falls within current modern Sonic branding. So you can do that one. If I want to be extra cynical about it, which you know I do. 
There's also renderware issue. I mean, if the game's being remade, that's not a problem. They need a test dummy for UE5. Well, we don't know who's making the game, and Sonic Team does not use Unreal. They use what's the engine they use? I know they use Havoc Physics, but I don't know what I don't know what game engine they use. They probably should move on to something like Unreal and like a real game engine instead of whatever crap they make the Sonic games with. But then they'd have to remake everything from scratch, and that'd probably be bad. <laughs> Hedgehog en Engine 2, Descartes, uh, Hedgehog Engine 2, the Hedgehog Engine is just, uh, a graphics engine. It's not the game engine that they use to build the game with. Blade says they use an in-house engine? That makes sense. Wait, what? Bad how? Bad like how they can't get it to render objects more than 40 feet in front of you. <laughs> You hope they can at least just port it to modern consoles? That seems more reasonable to me. But, again, it still seems weird that it would be Heroes specifically. Like, if you're going to do that, I, see, I feel like a collection would make more sense, right? Do, like, the adventure games, Heroes, and Shadow all in one bundle. Uh, that would make more sense to me. But, again, they probably don't want to re-release those games because branding and also Shadow the Hedgehog. You know, they would port the crappier PC version instead of the better console version? Probably, yes. <laughs> Probably. Casuals would definitely go crazy over a Sonic Heroes remake? I do not agree with that at all. I do not think casuals would care in the slightest about a Sonic Heroes remake. They'd be like, oh, that's a game? I've never heard of it before. And then they'd look it up and go... Oh, it got, like, mixed reviews. Why are they remaking this? <laughs> That's what would happen. I agree with that, Super Static Pro. I, I very much... Sonic Heroes is a product of its time, and it's such a lovely snapshot of, like, what Sonic was in that era, and I would like it to stay that way. It sold the best and it's very nostalgic. It only sold the best because it was the first multi-platform Sonic game. That is the reason that game sold well. It has nothing to do with the game itself. Look at all those Eggman's robots. Now that's some quality translation work right there. <laughs> That would be another thing. If they remake it, they'd have to redo all the voice acting with the modern actors, which within two weeks, there would be a mod to replace it all with the original acting. <laughs> but I also wonder, would they change certain things? Like, would they change Shadow to, like, he's not got amnesia or anything anymore, and he would just be there, and he would just be modern Shadow? Is that what they would do? To, like, separate it from all that crap? But maybe not, because, you know, with Shadow Generations, they seem to be acknowledging previous things. Maybe. We'll see. I'm still very skeptical if we're going to see humans and or Maria in uh, Shadow Generations. If Maria appeared physically in that game, that would be the most shocking story revelation of them all. I'd be like, holy shit, she still exists. <laughs> They will definitely remove balance system and grinding. Prob- I mean, it depends. What kind of remake are they doing? Is it going to be just like a faithful graphics remake? Probably not. Are they going to like reimagine the game and change it up? I wouldn't like that, but they might do that. Who knows? Imagine what they do to Amy. I mean, it's pretty easy to imagine. They would completely eliminate uh, the fact that Amy likes Sonic because that's not allowed any anymore because for some reason, modern mainstream entertainment has to be all sanitized and fully platonic. Romance is a terrible thing. That's a good message for kids. Is it true that Time Eater is a reincarnation of Mephilus? No, there's nothing to imply that in Generations whatsoever. 
Uh, Maria should appear in the art style from the Karasuno illustration? We'll see. She'd have to appear first, and that would mean they'd have to change the rules of what Sonic is allowed to be. Uh, how is the Penny video coming along, Music Junkie? Uh, I literally just finished it right before this stream. So it'll be up tomorrow publicly, but it'll probably be up tonight uh, on my Patreon or Coffee pages if you want to check it out a bit early. Yeah, we've been talking about it, your boy Frost. We'll see if it's real. I'm skeptical because it's Sonic Heroes and why. But if it got a remake, who knows? I have a suspicion that if it was a faithful remake... I might prefer the original, because there's no way they could recapture the specific feel of Sonic Heroes, and it is a very janky game, but when you get used to it, I, I can play the game decently and have fun. So we would have to see. Heroes could definitely benefit from a remake. I think it would just need, like, a modern port where you fix all the problems. Other than that, you'd have to, like, completely redo the game from the ground up. Which, maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe it's not a faithful remake. Maybe it's more like a Samus Returns FF7 kind of deal. Which I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to, but why Heroes if you were going to do something like that? That would make more sense for the adventure games. Xenoblade, Xenoblade stream confirmed? Uh, no. I've never played a Xenoblade game. I don't really have an interest in playing a Xenoblade game. Bleh. Oh, wait for Heroes, we'll all be playing Sonic Toys Party. Was, is that a thing that was leaked too? What is that? Imagine a remake of Black Knight or something. I, I highly doubt we are ever going to see the storybook games ever again. The Sonic Fall Guys game? Oh, it's a mobile game? Okay, well, I don't care. <laughs> maybe I'll check it out on my Apple TV. Or maybe I won't. I mean, if it's Sonic Fall Guys, but it's like a real platformer with real gameplay and physics, that might be cool. I played Fall Guys when it very first came out. And I played three matches of it. And I won the first two matches I ever played. And then I lost the third one to randomness. And I was like, okay, I am done with this. <laughs> <laughs> this game has nothing to it. I am back, Nalistix. Uh, I've been very, very busy the past week. Have I used that Apple TV lately? No, I haven't. Uh, but I've been meaning to because I still want to check out all those other games on uh, Apple Arcade. Anyway, how about we get into playing some Switch games, eh? Because that's what I wanted to do today. So, uh, let me... Pull that up. Working now, thankfully. Uh, these are the games I was thinking of playing today. Uh, some F-099, Mario Kart 8, and Splatoon 3. Because uh, I have not played F-099 yet, and I've been wanting to for a while. Because it's a new F-Zero game, finally! What everybody's been waiting for. Oh, Mr. H, you beat some of my times in Penny's Big Breakaway? Cool. Good stuff. I've seen a lot of people uh, in the leaderboards, including uh, viewers and stuff. I've seen some regular usernames in there, which is really awesome. <clears throat> Sorry, that came through. I had to clear my throat. Uh, let's earn the basics of F-Zero. Let's do that, because I haven't played F-Zero in a very long time. And I never really learned the original game too much. Uh, okay, so B to accelerate, A to boost. Okay. Yeah, bumpers to strafe. Now, I assume this game is not, like, built off of F-Zero, right? It's just using all the assets and stuff, but this is probably, like, a new game remade from the ground up. By the way, how's the volume? Might be a bit low. Oh, game's pretty loud? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I see what's up. Try that.
Yeah, I see what happened there. I did that wrong. I lowered my volume instead of the game volume. Now it should be good. I fixed it. I fixed it. I'm a great streamer. Everyone uh, praise how good I am. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I died in the tutorial. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> super sparks drop by gold bumpers from collision between machines to fill your super meter. Uh, press A when your super meter flies. Skyway, yeah, I've seen this. It takes me 20 seconds to fix it, so I'm a good streamer. I could definitely see someone being completely unaware of what's going on. Uh, for a while on their stream. Especially, I've seen a lot of streamers who, like, don't really interact with chat very much at all. And, like, that's the benefit of streaming, is I can make fun of all you assholes in real time, and you can make fun of me. Wow, I have to do a 25 race before I can play a full thing? Oh wait, skip training. If I feel confident about my skills, I skip training. You'll not be able to return training if I decide to skip. Uh, fine. Fine, we'll train because I suck. Uh, can I change the controls a little bit though? No. Am I seasoned at F-Zero? Not in the slightest. I have only played the original F-Zero for like 20 minutes, and I never really learned how to play it. So this is my shot at learning original F-Zero. Though this isn't actually original F-Zero, right? It's like a new game that just uses the assets, right? Did I watch the anime? I've never watched the F-Zero anime. Streamers don't do that because most of them are on Twitch, and Twitch's chat is just LW and emotes. Wow. Get wrecked, Twitch. I was hitting the wrong button. Oh, I see. The, the spin's on a cooldown. Have I played F-Zero GX? Same thing. I played it for, like, uh... 20 minutes, uh, but I've not learned how to really play it. Cool. Or is YouTube chat is known for its great writing? Is it? Is that what YouTube chat is known for? So give me that gold. Give me that shit. Imagine Sonic Heroes remake having 2D sections. It could happen. Don't count it out. Is there a look behind me button? No. This game in widescreen is still mind-blowing to you? I mean, you can play the original game in widescreen if you want. With high resolution mode 7. Uh, just play on an emulator. Okay, the break is Y. That's good to know. Thoughts on Dragon Ball? Uh, don't like it.
my Burnout fan, if you feel like I'd absolutely adore that series. I played Burnout 3, like, back in the day when I was a kid, but I never, uh, played... Well, I haven't played it in recent years, so I'd have to go back to it. So what are the different stats on these? Durability, recovery, grip, max speed, and acceleration? I, I, uh, uh, this thing. I use the boost too much. Power meter also extra HP. Yeah, I'm aware. I know. It's about using it as much as you can without killing yourself. It's a good resource balance. Oh yeah, no boost power. Oh wait, no bo boost okay in the first lap. Okay. It's kind of weird that they frame this game as being like a Battle Royale 99 players thing. It's just a racing game. <laughs> it's just a racing game with a lot of players. It's not a Battle Royale. There we go, use a little bit of break action in there. It is to a battle royale? Is it? Is it? What makes it a battle royale as opposed to just a racing game with a lot of players? How do I feel about BRs in general? Uh, don't like them, generally. Uh, I haven't played very many, because a couple that I have played I thought were extremely boring. Stop, fuck. Rail Canyon legitimately sucks. Yes, yeah, definitely one of the worst levels uh, in Sonic Heroes, I would say. You bitch. Fuck you, AI. Battle Royales have lots of players. So what's the difference between a Battle Royale and just a game that has a lot of players? Is that the defining thing that makes it a Battle Royale? I wouldn't agree with that. What about if you play on, like, Battlefield servers and it's 64v64? Is that a Battle Royale? See, I'm not a true F0G because I don't blow my car up as I cross the finish line. What defines a battle royale? I mean, I would assume battle royale is defined by, you know, like last man standing stuff, right? I'm gonna keep using the Fire Stingray, because I don't know. I don't know. Which is what this game is. Yeah, but just having player elimination... Like, the old F-Zeros had player elimination. Were they Battle Royales? Yeah, Demetrius, uh, levels in Heroes are very, very long. They have to do something about that. Maybe Battle Royale is defined by the movie that originated the genre? No, that doesn't matter. They didn't have online play. They had local multiplayer. When is F-Zero with guns? That's probably an indie game for that. There are like a million uh, sci-fi racing games these days. 
I haven't played any of them. I know that Lake is working on one. Lake Feppard, creator of uh, Spark the Electric Jester. Definitely gonna check that out. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to like hit players, right? To like get those, in addition to that gold thing. I ever played Blur? Nope, don't know what that is. Blur by Bizarre Creations? Uh, what console is that for? Is that like an old game? I assume it's an old game. Ah, fucking thing. Shit. That did not go the way I wanted it to. Is everyone just bots? For these first couple races, because this is like the tutorial. I think after this I unlock real racing with real humans. These composers went so ham. Aren't these composers Koji Kondo? Didn't he do the music for F-Zero? Am I implying robots aren't real humans? Well, by the definition of them being robots, they're definitely not humans. That's usually how that works. Okay, you can do Grand Prix too. But now I have the real thing. This is This is against humans now. Uh, I'm just going to keep using this. Someone tell me what the good vehicle is. Some original F-Zero speedrunner knows exactly what the objectively best vehicle is, right? I've been the past week busy. That's why I uh, didn't end up streaming the Splatfest like I wanted to. I had a lot going on. Actually, I uh, mentioned on the last stream that uh, I went to another combat robotics tournament and uh, we won. Uh, my friend that built the bot just got an email that we have qualified for the uh, national championship. Which is in a month across the other side of the country. So it's like, whoa, that's super awesome and cool. Why is it so short notice that we're learning this? <laughs> So, we're kind of, like, deciding whether or not we're going to be able to go, because what? <laughs> We'd love to, but can we? Congratulations. Thank you. It's super cool. I don't know what the time I want to hit the accelerator is on in this game. Oh, there's wind! There's wind! Oh, fucking bitch, hit me out of the thing. Hit the wrong button. Shit! Wind again! Fucking hell! Keep missing all these fucking boosters. Going too aggressive with my boost. Sorry, I'm not reading chat. I gotta look at the screen to play the game. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's definitely a problem, Demetrius. Uh... Oh, wait. I'm not out. I get to just, like, try to kill people at the end? <laughs> that's funny. Remember that my boost is also my health? I know that! I was just being too loose with it. I'm just starting to play F-Zero. I gotta learn, you know, what's a good balance between not killing myself and going fast. Oh, they added new maps and stuff to this game? That's cool. Did the game have, uh... All the, uh, all the tracks from the original, I assume, were in there. Oh, let's go for some Big Blue, come on. I assume every time Big Blue comes up, it always wins, because everyone wants to listen to the music. I assume that's what happens. I could have just Prius since my friend code doesn't change. Yeah, but I'm Prius695, so whatever. I could also change my YouTube name to just Prius if I wanted to. I don't know what the timing there is that I want, but I guess I did okay. Team Chaotix are annoying. What you want about? Ban that guy. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, we in first. I'm sure this won't last. That's supposed to be ice. It feels like it affects my turning. Not 100% sure, to be honest. You know, I wonder if I don't want to boost along the, the meter fill track, because then I spend less time on it so it'll fill less of my meter. I probably want to not boost on that and boost after I'm off of it. Get out of here. You ain't blowing me up, fucker. Can I play with other people? I'm playing with other people right now. I don't know if I could, like, invite people to play. I don't think so. I don't think that's how these 99 games work. Shit. Probably other players nipping at my heels. I can't... There's no, like, look behind you button, so I have no idea. How's the game so far? Seems pretty fun. Oh, my God. Okay, those red things blow up when you touch them, and they kill you. I didn't know that. All right. <laughs> That's something to be uh, careful of in the future. She... Most of the time, if you search the same time as somebody in your region, you often show up together. Well, uh, then just try to join at the same time. There's a bit of a delay, so we can't really, like, intentionally time it out. Why is Sonic Heroes a topic? Uh, there's a leak, apparently, that they're doing a remake of Sonic Heroes. I don't know if I believe that, but, uh, that's why people are talking about it. You never thought I'd play this? Watching this is like the ultimate brain rot? Why wouldn't I play this? Who doesn't like F-Zero? F-Zero's super cool. Even though I've never played one significantly. Vector calling uh, Rouge abroad is funny. It's a decent translation of what he says in Japanese. Do I believe the Shadow X Sonic Generations leaks? Uh... I believe it was like that Shadow is gonna confess his love to Sonic finally, right? I believe that. Feels like it's about time.
Shadow had to come out eventually. Exactly. Reading chat and playing this game at the same time is difficult. Is it worth it to boost over that dirt? Those guys did. They must be F Zero experts, right? May as well call it Sonato Generations. I mean, a lot of people do. <laughs> I've been seeing people saying that a lot online, which is funny. It's a bad time to use my boost, but I've done it so far on both laps. Okay, careful of the reds. Oh! That motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker hit me into it. Okay. I'm not paying attention to other racers. Do they, uh... Can they see your health? Because if they can, I need to not spend so much of my meter, because then they'll be like, He's got low health, kill him! I love this uh, art, by the way. The, the, these illustrations. That looks like it's probably taken from, like, actual SNES, like, era artwork, right? Like, that looks very old school. That is not modern art. That's cool. Oh, they can see when you're low, your vehicle starts smoking. Mmm. So yeah, you want to spend the meter for the speed, but you become a target. Accelerate just before go? Oh, okay, it's just as close to the go as possible. Okay. I'm thinking like Mario Kart rules, where it's all weird. play the goose target smoking vehicles? Well, I can only target vehicles if they're in front of me, and I intend to be in first place. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. You trust Sonic Team with Sonato Generations? I do too, actually. I've been playing uh, Frontiers a bit, because I was messing around with some new mods to add to the spreadsheet, but then I was just having fun with the game and I've been playing Frontiers. I really, really do like the cyberspace levels in that game. I think they are fucking fun. I've been messing around, finally learning how to use the homing dash in that game, and it's really cool. <laughs> it, it enables some really fun stuff. I might have been too late there. I'm kind of in the minority there. I am well aware of that. That's fine. I don't care. I mean, I like the open zone stuff, too. Running around and collecting shit is fun. Bumping into that person totally saved me there. Oh. Uh, those rails are a bad time. Oh my god. I gotta refill my health a bit. Yo, I've not heard this music before. It's good. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> this game is fun, but I'm learning. I kind of suck at it right now, but I'll get there. Going off jump rails refills your spin. Yeah, I noticed I was getting it back really quickly. I didn't know why there. I should go back to bots now, now. See, y'all are... Y you fall too victim to, like, typical people play online games where, like, losing is bad. Losing is fine. It's just part of playing and learning. You're gonna suck when you first start playing a game. And you will make mistakes, and it will be bad. And then you will learn and get better, and then the wins will start coming. Yo, sweet. Yeah, we play in some F-099. This game is fun. I'm sucking, 
but I'm liking it. The funniest part about Sonic Remasters is that they consistently get worse as the decades go on. I mean, to be fair, C-Ton, I would say that Sonic Origins is the best official way to play the original Sonic games, minus three knuckles. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, 1, 2, and CD are enhanced versions of the Retro Engine versions, so... Eh. It, it's at least... Decent. If you can't play uh, the fan versions, I would say Origins is an okay way to play uh, the original games. Uh, we talked about it a little bit, Sweet. I'm not interested in Princess Peach, so Princess Peach Showtime. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very clearly a little kid's game. I'm not interested. Not a lot of good opportunities for boost here. Because there's so many winding turns. And keep people keep hitting me into these goddamn rails. You motherfuckers. There's probably like I shouldn't just immediately activate that, right? There's probably, like, better times to utilize this when it will, like, give you the most bang for your buck, right? But I don't fucking know where those are. That's the advanced knowledge that I do not have. I gotta become a professional F-099 streamer uh, to know that kind of stuff. But Stop knocking me into the railings, you... Bitches! That was me. That was me fucking up, and I spent a boost, and I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we're good. We're good. I mean, I'm still low, but we're good. My goal is to finish this race. That's the plan. Dude! One of these days, I'm gonna get through this section... And people aren't going to push me into the rails on the side. I should have boosted there. It was the end of the race. Quit your day job for F-099? 27th. That's a uh, top third of racers. I'll take that. That's not too bad. Have I seen any video from Plague of Gripes before? Yeah, I used to watch uh, Super Best Friends back in the day. So I'm familiar with uh, Plague of Gripes. Oh no, Pariah lost. I mean, when there's 98 other racers, you're gonna lose most of the games until you get really good. That's fine. This game can be very addicting. I can see it. It's fun. Fire Stingray, cool. I'll equip that. Skins. I dig it. Have I played Fortnite and won a match? I've never played Fortnite before. Oh, are you in here, Subson? Oh yeah, there you are. That's cool. How am I doing, by the way, for uh, F-Zero uh, heads in the chat? Because this is my first time, like, playing F-Zero 99 and trying to learn original F-Zero. Try to destroy other raiders that gives you more max boost meter. Um, I, I haven't really been paying attention to um, uh, looking for other racers that are smoking. I'll keep an eye out for that. Really good for having never played. I mean, I pick up games fast.
Is that zero better than Sonic Riders, in my opinion? I mean, I just started playing it, so uh, let me get back to you. Big Blue always wins, that's funny. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. I assume it always wins because of the music. That's really good of them, by the way, that you your max boost meter increases when you uh, kill other racers, because it incentivizes you to kill other racers, which is a mean design choice, and I like it. Motherfucker, I'm trying to pass you. Stop getting in my way. There we go. There we go. Where I belong. Now we're in that problematic situation in a racing game where when you're in first place, the game is kind of boring because you're not having to, like, play around other racers or anything. It's just time trials, basically. As long as you don't mess up, you will win. One of the inherent flaws of racing games, in my opinion. Although I keep messing up because I keep hitting these fuckers. I guess there is that. Don't mess up. Well, the thing is, if you get, if you play a game enough and you get good, you will not mess up. And then you will just win. That's why I think racing games really benefit from having a lot of direct conflict where uh, you can fuck with other racers. I don't have any meter. I've been so meter-deprived that everyone's caught up. I quite like the, the choice of, instead of drifting, you have strafing to make tighter turns in F-Zero. It's an interesting difference. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad for me. Yup. <laughs> right at the end. Damn it. <laughs> Spend every turn you might hit someone? Yeah, that makes sense. GG, GG indeed. They added slipstreaming? Cool. Slipstreaming is always a good mechanic in racing games. And real life racing. Getting good at a game is detrimental to design. You could say that for every game ever. Can you? I mean, some games you can actually argue that, and I've actually thought about this and maybe make a video about it in the future. But I mean, some games, they just get more fun the better you get. Generally, those are the kinds of games I like. Like, Heroes? Yeah, the problem with Heroes, in a lot of 3D Sonic games, I'm probably going to talk about this in the Mania video, because Mania was, like, the first Sonic game that, like, the general populace was like, Whoa, a good Sonic game! Which I'm obviously going to argue with, because I think that uh, a lot of Sonic games are good. But the problem with a lot of Sonic games is that they get better as you get better at them. But so many 3D Sonic games in particular, the starting point, the starting amount of fun you have is way too low. <laughs> Especially when they usually have big learning curves and a lot of jank and problems that you have to power through to learn the game and start getting to the point where it becomes really fun. That's a problem. I think part of the reason Mania was so well received is because the original Sonic games, they get more fun as you get better, but they're also just really fun when you don't know shit about what you're doing or how to play. Fuck. The turning on this car is a little weird. I'm gonna try a different car after this race.
No, I killed someone. I wasn't even paying attention. Dude, those fucking, like, fake gray racers are causing me more problems than anything. Yo, what's up, Subsonic Sparkle? I get. I wasn't. I wasn't looking. So kind of shocking that Nintendo actually acknowledged F zero ninety nine. I mean, is it? They made the game. Why wouldn't they acknowledge it? Boom! Up to C rank. Let's go. Seventh place. Hell yeah! Top ten. Yeah! 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 The concept of building a brand new game on top of an old one is cool. I mean, they did the same thing with uh, Mario 35, right? And uh, I guess Pac-Man 99 and uh, Tetris 99 as well. Acknowledged F-Zero in general, more like. Yeah, I remember when this game first came out and it was like, <laughs> my response to it was, everyone's been begging for a new F-Zero and it's like, finally, it's like, this isn't what we meant. <laughs> But you know what? I'll take it. Because it's fun. Mario 35 was really weird, though. I never played it. And it's weird that they took it down. Didn't they also take down Pac-Man 99 for some reason? What? Did, what? Why would you do that? What are you doing? You wonder when F-099 will be taken down? I was thinking that, sweet. Considering what happened to Pac-Man and Mario, they'll probably take this down eventually and replace it with another 99. It's like, just leave it. Just leave it. Especially this one. It's just a new F-Zero game. I gotta say, uh, as someone that's played, uh, F-Zero X, I find the, the, it's just a little thing that says boost okay, uh, nowhere near as enticing as, you've got boost power. Also, the start of the race, uh, the, the, like, weird robot guy going, three, two, one, go! It's great. I love F-Zero X's, uh, sound effects and stuff. The final lap! <laughs> that shit's great. Thought. There we go. That's how you make that. My impressions are too good. Thank you. I usually get uh, compliments about my ability to do impressions, which I find weird because it's not something I've worked on in the slightest.
This is probably from later in the game, right? This track, because it's a lot more difficult than the other tracks you've been playing. get the sky bridge thing. There we go. Got it too late. Barely even made a difference. My Shy Guy impression is unreal. Have I even done Shy Guy voices before? Maybe before when we were playing Mario Kart. Eleventh. Not bad. Not bad. Is that Brian improving? I like to think so. The announcer wasn't actually supposed to sound so deranged. It just happened when they compressed him into the cart. Yeah, well, that ends up working because he's supposed to be like a cyborg man. So, perfect. <laughs> My Japanese big wasn't too bad either. Thank you. Uh, what's my favorite Mario Party? I haven't played every single one, but of the ones I've played, it's hard to pick an exact favorite, but one of my favorites is Mario Party 6, uh, the day-night mechanic and shit. That is, uh, that's some S-tier Mario Party right there. I also like Mario Party 8 quite a bit, because if there's any game where motion control bullshit uh, has a place, it's in Mario Party. And the boards in that game are very cool. They're all, like, weird and different and unique. Is this game good? I'd say so. I dig it. It's fun. It's basically just the original F-Zero, but with online play and 99 players. That sounds good to me. As someone that's never even played the original F-Zero very much before, and this is my first time really uh, trying to get into it, this is super fun. Yo, Subsonic Sparkle, you want to do me a favor and get the fuck out of my way? Shit. Took that turn real bad. You're about to stream snipe, you can try. Wait, what's the what's the thing he says in Revenge of the Sith that Anakin says? You will try? Is that what he says? I don't remember. Fuck! I'm trying to remember Star Wars quotes here. You will try? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's very bad. Very bad indeed. Oh, that's right, Subsonic. Leaving you in the dust. Everyone stay away from me. God, I love how hectic it is when there's so many people around. This is just chaos, just bouncing all over the place. Yeah, in order to play this game half decently, I have to be so focused. Like, I cannot read chat. I cannot try to make dumb jokes about Star Wars. Damn, that was fun. How is this fucking racing game from the 90s one of the best racing games I've played in a long time? 
Then again, uh, Crash Team Racing is also from the 90s, right? And it is the best racing game I've ever played. Why didn't I stream the Splatfest? I was just too busy. I didn't have time to. I really wanted to, but I just couldn't. I barely got to play it at all for myself. It's almost like art quality doesn't depend on the timeline. It's true. I discovered that relatively recently when I uh, played the original Mario and the original Zelda, and I'm like, damn, these games are so good. Play anything like Need for Speed or GT? Uh, no. Never played them. Outrun 2? Nope, never played that either. I haven't played that many racing games, really. Wasn't there a Star Wars pod racing game on, like, Dreamcast? I, I want to say I played that back on my Dreamcast when I was a kid. I have memories of that game. Was that any good? Someone tell me if that was good. I mean, it seems like a perfect, uh concept for a game, right? Star Wars pod racing game. You play the... You have a track out of the actual track from the movie and then a bunch of other tracks. You play as all the racers. It's on Switch. I assume it's probably on Steam then, right? There was pod racing in Lego Star Wars. There was pod racing in Lego Star Wars. Did anyone get that, that new Lego Star Wars? Is that any good? Because I enjoyed Lego Star Wars back in the day when I was a kid. But I just stopped playing those games eventually. Zelda 1 or A Link to the Past? Uh, call it Blasphemy, maybe. I would rather play Zelda 1, actually. Because A Link to the Past, to me, is just like an inferior version of what I can get playing any other Zelda game, whereas Zelda 1 is much more unique. That's bad. I thought that thing would go left. It fucked me. It fucked me. Zelda sucks, damn. Oh, it's Rachel. I, uh, I, like, gave Rachel, like, a one-day penalty after the previous stream, but, sweet, if she starts being annoying, <laughs> you have my permission to ban her permanently. I will leave it up to your discretion. Out of my way, fuckers! Oh, first place. Let's go. Oh, what's that, Subsonic Sparkle? What's that? You, uh, thought you were good at F Zero. I thought you played this before, huh? Huh? You got nothing. You got nothing. I just started playing this game, what, like 30 minutes ago? Is there skill-based matchmaking? I think so. Yeah, I'm like a skill rated. I'm at, I'm at rank C right now. By the way, I like that black color for the, the, the wild goose. I didn't equip it. I gotta go do that. Imagine losing to a beginner. It happens. You ever play an online shooter and there are those people that are like prestige infinity level 1000 whatever and then you play against them and they're not very good? That happens to be all the time.
Never played this online version, only the OG. Well, that's what it is. Your, uh, your familiarity with the original is messing you up. Learn to play the modern one, old man. Hey, Sonic White. What's up? Is this worth an overpriced subscription service? I mean, I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't say it's an overpriced subscription service if you compare it to, uh... Xbox and PlayStation Online. It's like a third as much. But I would say no. <laughs> I would say no, this is not worth a subscription service, this alone. But, you know, if you like to play other Nintendo games online, why not? Ah, everyone get the fuck out of my way. Don't know if I should have boosted there because I'm pretty, uh, pretty low on meter, but it'll be fun. Fine. These people couldn't race for their lives. Everyone's passing me. That's just because I don't want to boost. I want to save it for, uh... Right here. Okay, 11th place again. Not bad. Team Sonic Racing or Zero Gravity? Uh, I, you know, I actually haven't played Team Sonic Racing, so I, I can't say. Alright, I'll do one more game of F099, and then, uh... We'll go on to, uh, some Mario Kart, and then everyone can get in. Oh. Damn, look at these people with their 99 plus wins. I have one! I have one! Oh, you're in, uh, Samurai Gak? Cool. Is that how that's supposed to be pronounced? You can pronounce a G like a J, so it could still be Samurai Jack. What Sonic game would I like to see remaster? Um... I mean, they're probably gonna fuck it up, whatever it is. <laughs> I would say I, I want to see the handheld games, uh, Advance and Rush, in, like, a collection. That would be nice. Ideally, they'd get retro engine versions. That would be the ideal.
It's a shame we can't, uh, like, get a private lobby going or something, or, like, just all play together in a group. That would be cool. Ow. That was not a good thing that I did. I'm in a bad ways. There we go. I wanted this, although now I'm gonna miss the... Oh no, okay, you still get it. You still get it, good. I tried, I thought I had enough for the sky path. So I tried to boost it. Oh, look at that. I was over the water there, so it extended my sky rail a little bit. Cool. Again, I knew it. There are like, moments where you want to use that, where it's more beneficial than other moments. I don't know what I came in there. There should be a Sonic TCG game also. I don't think Sonic is popular enough to get a TCG. I can't milk it that hard. Any thoughts on Irish the Hedgehog and where he'd fit into the Sonic lore? Who fucking cares? Alright. F099? Good game. I like it. Oh, look at that. Gold. That's like the skin I wear for Captain Falcon in Smash. Let's do some Mario Kart. Chaotix in widescreen with an actual frame rate would be neat. The thing is, if you, like, remake Chaotix in, like, Retro Engine or something, it's not gonna play the same. It won't have the same fucked up physics, which means you might not be able to, like, fling yourself around the same way. I should upload that as a 5 second review. F-099 is good. I like it. Okay, how do I do this again? I haven't played since the last time I streamed this, by the way, so... Wait, no, no, no. Then I need... Friends? Create room... Create a room... Oh, yeah, I was playing a fucking Baby Daisy. Let's go. <laughs> uh, and then show room ID. There you go, that's how it works. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Nope. Where's the... the thing? Okay, yeah. I have, uh... Auto Accelerate on, just so I don't have to hold a button all the time for no reason. My me looks so emo. What's wrong with that? Is that a problem? People who play Baby Daisy are weird. That's just because you have no taste. Baby Daisy is cringe. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know nothing. You'll be turned by the end of this. You'll see. She's adorable. Oh, I gotta show the room ID again. Come on, get in here, fuckers. Let's do some Mario Kart. There are so many good char other characters I go with Baby Daisy. Yeah, I go with the best character. My alternative is I play as a Black Shy Guy, because, I mean, that just is perfect, right? But then I started playing as Baby Daisy, and I'm like, oh my god, she's adorable. It's like Daisy, who I already love, but now she's even cuter. Best girl, Toadette. Toadette is okay. I like Toadette. But I don't love her. You're busy playing Ghouls and Ghosts? I've never played any of those games. I 
Rosalina's the hottest one in this game? I don't know. They did add Pauline in uh, that update. Pauline's pretty hot. There's that part of Mario Odyssey where it, it goes like dating sim mode where it's first person and you gotta give her a gift. And you're like, yes. Did I ever get to playing uh, Mamada no Bakuru, the Goemon-inspired Switch game? Did that come out? I did not know that came out. I, I haven't played it, but I want to. Is there any talk of that getting, like, a Western release? Or did it get a rest Western release? I don't even know. It came out last year? I, I only saw it got, like, an announcement trailer. I didn't know it came out. If I do, they'll be the hardest games I'll play. I mean, I assume that with those games, a vast majority of their impossible difficulty comes from the fact that they use lives. That's usually what makes old games hard, is just lives make it unreasonable to beat. Maybe next direct, but you beat in it doesn't really require Japanese knowledge. Does it not? Because those Goemon games are very text heavy. Some of them, at least. Come on, is there no one else that wants to get in? We got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's three more slots open. Someone get in here. Can't believe we didn't get Mother 3 in the States. Yeah, it's bizarre that they still have not done that. Just, uh, get the fan translation and just put it up on Nintendo Switch Online. No one will complain. <laughs> How sizable would I say the Sonic franchise is compared to the rest of the world? I mean, just look at sales. That'll tell you your answer right there, which is not that big. I mean, Sonic Frontiers sold, like, what, 3 million copies? Fucking... Didn't, like, Hogwarts Legacy the other year sell, like, 20 million or something? So there's a comparison for you. Alright, I guess that's all we got for now. Alright, we go in straight to 200, which is a terrible idea because I haven't played in a while, but whatever. Uh... I'll do four races or eight races. Uh... I guess we'll do sets of four, so that way people can get in every couple. Reggie is withholding the English translation of Mother 3. I mean, it doesn't work in Nintendo anymore. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go random. I don't care. I don't care! I'm gonna be bad. I haven't played in a long time. It's gonna be bad, everybody. Oh, they have to do new music for it? Mmm. Really? An SNES game has rights music or music rights issues? What? It also has a lot of taboo content. Yeah, I mean, they could just censor it. <laughs> That's what they did for the Earthbound games, right? How you play this game again? You hit the, the hit the hit the shoulder buttons and uh, get hit by items and get fucked. Shit, that didn't work. Dog, oh, fuck me. What's the break button again? Okay. It is that a button. Uh, okay, that red shell missed me amazingly. 
Oh, well. What? That blue shell also... Oh, wait, I'm in second. I didn't realize that. We're going to different, like, routes, so I assume this is a Torah track. I don't remember. Yeah, this is definitely a Torah track, because it's got those arrows that... Desperately try to guide you, but don't do a great job, ultimately. Fuck! You bitch! That was a bad move. Bullet Bill, save me. Save me from being bad. Damn, I could have gotten, like, second if that, uh, activated a little sooner. Anything from the DLC is a tour track? Well, no. There's also new tracks, right? And tracks from other Mario Karts. You don't really know if Mario Kart 9 is even possible? I believe that they should launch the next console with Mario Kart 9. I think that would be the smartest thing for them to do. Am I only gonna play racing games? Uh, no, we'll play some Splatoon later, I think. All the tracks from other games are the Tor versions. Every track in the DLC is from Tor? Yes, but the tracks in Tor are from other games. What a Mario Kart 9 even look like? I would imagine it would look like Mario Kart, but with slightly fancier graphics than this game. Your contempt for 200cc knows no bounds. That's just because you're not good, Subsonic Sparkle. Get good, why don't you? Use your break. We need 300cc in the next Mario Kart? I don't know about that. 200 already is, like, pushing the bounds of the tracks. Like, some things don't work correctly at 200. I think the Switch 2 will be slightly more powerful than the Xbox One? I don't know. Go ask Digital Foundry, not me. I don't know shit. Oh, fuck. I thought there was floor there. There wasn't. I want to save these, but I probably won't be able to. Didn't fall in this time, fucker. Aha! Aha! Oh, we got this. We got this. I'm sure nothing can go wrong in the third lap. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Didn't even get to the third lap and things started to go wrong. Oh... That's fine. I'm gaining on them. I got a red shell. They probably have a defensive item. Yep, they did. Ha 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 though. Yes. Yes. Mr. 
strategic fallback to avoid blue shell? Yeah, that's what that was. It, it was uh, all intended strategy. The comeback? Not a comeback. You have to be losing for it to be a comeback. I was in prepared. I was prepared to win the entire time there. Big brain and that small head. I actually have a very large head. Mushroomed into the fence on your knees. Get fucked. Don't make mistakes, how about? Don't make mistakes. Why do you have a crown? Uh, because I think you're winning at the moment. Winning the, the Grand Prix. I would know if Riders is better than Mario Kart 8. Why do you desperately want me to compare every racing game to Sonic Riders? Because everything is about uh, Sonic, it's true. Life is about Sonic. You gonna get me, Ima? We'll see about that. Ima? I don't know what your username is. Too much speed. That's why you shouldn't do 300 CC, because 200 has shit like that that happens. Oh, I shouldn't be doing that. I'm in first. I need that coin, so I don't get a coin. Or I can just... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, or I could just get the double item box. Or I could not. Oh yeah, mods, uh, someone get that. It's time. Well, I was looking at chat, and now I'm fucked. That's not good. Too much speed. Too much speed. Too much speed again. See if that works. Space him out. Nah, I was just too far ahead. Got first anyway. Why am I playing as Baby Daisy? Why does everyone hate Baby Daisy? Her head is like a cocoa melon baby size. I mean, you worded that weird, but I think I get what you mean. She does have a large head. <laughs> baby Daisy is admittedly like the peak of basic character var variation next to pink gold peach. Is Pink Gold Peach the peak of character variation? <laughs> I don't know if I would agree with that. I think Pink Gold Peach sucks. That was sarcasm? I know. I, I know. 
There's a question. Uh, is Peachette a Toadette variation or a Peach variation? How does that work? Yes. <laughs> That's fair. That's a fair response to that, I suppose. Shit! Oh, I, I thought that would spin me out. Cool. I thought I would get a mushroom. I was banking on a mushroom. I don't know why I would bank on getting something reliably from a random item box, but I was. Oh! Okay, that actually worked out. I avoided the red shell. Sort of. What? I'm amazing at this game. Did you know that? Not a lot of people know that about me, but I'm actually one of the greatest Mario Kart players in the world. Uh, does the Sound Blaster thing trigger automatically, or do I have to time it? I have to time that. You wonder what, I'm uh, curious what cool gimmick the new Mario Kart could have? I was thinking about that. I've, th I've talked about this on previous Mario Kart streams, actually. You have to keep everything from the previous games so you can have tracks from the previous games, right? So they can't get rid of anything. They can only add. So what do you add? I have no idea. You suck so much at 200cc. You're playing too much Tetris, Daniel. That's your problem. What Splatoon game next? I mean, three, obviously. What else would we play? Give us some time for people to jump back in. A gimmick built on teleporting through time rifts could be fun. What does that even mean, Subsonic Sparkle? Like, what, does the track just change visually? What about new gameplay mechanics? Add a double dash mode, two person per cart? Eh. I don't really think the double dash thing is that amazing. Come on, people, get in here. Get in here! That's an order. The stage changes mid-race to a different stage. I don't, actually wouldn't like that, because then you would, like, go through tracks too quickly. How are you supposed to use the brake to drive good in this game? You use the brake. You hit the brake to slow down. That's how it works. That's the Smash feature no one uses? Oh, yeah, that's in Smash. And, yeah, no one uses it. All right, I guess we're going in again with this. Stay with 200. Deal with it, fuckers. Double Dash is dope in co-op. I mean, co-op isn't really that great, I don't think, because you just have one player playing at a time. The other person just, like, throws items. That's very lame. You use it, Bravia? You're the only one!
They should add a mechanic where you could spend one dollar for a boost mushroom mid-race. That would be a good idea, yeah. Just hook up your parents' credit card to the game, and you could just press a button at any moment to spend one dollar. That would be a great idea. What am I, EA? I'm surprised EA hasn't done something like that in their games before. Just when I threw my banana, because I was like, oh, I'm in second place now, I'll get something else. Holy shit, it's chaos. I'm gonna guess that this is a 3DS track, based on the, uh, the level of detail in the environment and stuff. I mean, I know that all these are, like, the mobile remakes, but I mean, like, you can tell by how much geometric complexity there is what console a game, uh, a track is from. It's a DS track? Oh, really? I'd actually be impressed if, uh, if this was on DS. Because you look at the other DS tracks, and they're very geometric. A lot of uh, flat lines, because less polygons that way, because DS. Oh, they added the forest section. That explains it. That explains it. That one debacle about EA going, imagine instantly selling ammo to people in Battlefield when they run out. Oh, was that a thing, actually, that they did consider? I'm not surprised. Yes, yes, Lego boy. Sonic, 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 yes. One of these days, eventually, maybe years from now, I will have a stream where no one will mention Sonic. Could that happen? Is that physically possible? Or am I trapped forever? What are my opinions on the Wii U? I wish I didn't buy it. <laughs> What happened to that red shell? Oh, I let go of the trigger because I was confused. Okay. Donkey Kong, the best musical. I just saw that. <laughs> is that like the subtitle of the play, The Best Musical, or is that a review that they put on the poster? <laughs> My goddamn nanner, and it fucked me at the last second. 
Have I played Nintendo Land? Uh, no, I have not. Bullet Bill took you out in second place? It happens. I have definitely had races where I'm in, like, sixth. And then I bullet bill right to first place. And you're like, I earned that. Definitely. <laughs> I should stream the Nintendo Land F-Zero minigame. I mean, I don't have Nintendo Land. And I don't plan on buying it. And I don't plan on hooking up my Wii U. I was actually thinking of selling my Wii U. Because I'm probably never going to turn that thing on ever again. Although, how much would a Wii U even go for these days? It'd be like 20 bucks, right? <laughs> Who's buying Wii U's? Shouldn't have done that with that banana. Should have kept it. Fuck! No items. Get hit by shells. Bad stuff. Bad stuff all around. No good tight corners that I could use these mushrooms on. He probably has a defensive thing, right? Oh, he did. Damn it. Damn you and your defensive items. catch up i was just a better racer oh yeah that was sick well played kino rampa <laughs> top 10 pariah moments <laughs> Is that? It's the time we were playing Mario 64, and I killed myself hilariously. It was me losing my mind in Blink's the Time Sweeper. I'm trying to think of all, like, the best stream moments we've had. Which, by the way, I did get my copy of Blink's 2 that arrived in the mail. I have to hook up my 360 and see if it still works. Dying to a cutscene in Blink 3 is definitely in top 3. Uh, Blink's contains multiple pariah best stream moments. <laughs> because there was also the part when I was just like losing my mind laughing like a madman. How much was it? Uh, it was like a little over 20 bucks, I think, for shipping. Fuck. I saw a lot of copies were going for like 30 bucks, but uh, I got it without the, you know, the box or anything. I got it just disc. It was a bit cheaper, so I went with that because I don't care. Damn, I almost threaded the needle through all that like a boss.
Holy shit. How are you so far ahead? I just looked at the map. Rosalina is way the fuck up there. I'm getting golden mushrooms in third. Whoops, I was still mashing. Damn. Who the fuck's playing Rosalina? Symphony, Jesus. I'm playing with others in Mario Kart. Yeah, if you want to get in, guess Akai. Uh, we just finished that Grand Prix. Perfect. You've been meaning to tell me Blinks 2 isn't backwards compatible on 360? It definitely is, because that's how I played it last time. You're so proud of buying Blinks 2 for me? You shouldn't be. You should be ashamed of what you did. How do you join? The room ID is there in the bottom right corner. Get in here. You got no Nintendo Online, you're poor? Understandable. I normally don't have Nintendo Online. I just picked it up for uh, the, the three-month thing uh, for streaming and playing some Splatoon and shit. Are you canon to Pariah lore? Well, I'll say this in the Penny's Big Breakaway video, which is probably going to come out tomorrow. Uh, I do show off uh, some of the leaderboards, and uh, there are some uh, familiar faces from here and there. Because I make a note about uh, how I've been seeing some, some of y'all getting those good times in Penny's Big Breakaway. I'm proud of y'all. But you gotta do better. I still got like top 30 times in almost every level in that game. Come on, people. Do better. And that game is so fun. I was thinking about just streaming it again. Even though I already streamed it, I kind of just want to stream it again because I just want to play the game again because it's so fun. How many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got 10 now. There's still two more open slots if anyone wants to get in. You stay off the leaderboards, but you did have the top time for three for a week. Yeah, I was a little disappointed, actually, seeing how high I've been getting on the leaderboards. Uh, if I had hopped on the game right when it came out, I probably would have had multiple number one times. Because sometimes I, I would do some levels and be like, oh my god, that was a fucking terrible run. And then I check the leaderboard and I'm like number 18. And I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, people. <laughs> Come on. But that just goes to show that not many people have picked up Penny's Big Breakaway. Hey, pretty chill Phil. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it, dude. Please no more mobile game tracks. I think that uh, the tour tracks that are remakes of the tracks from other games are perfectly good. The, uh, the tour original tracks I don't generally like. I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom, A, eh? uh, so I wouldn't know, but if it justifies taking longer to develop than Breath of the Wild, then that's quite exciting. I look forward to playing it. Should Generations even count as a main game? Of course it counts as a main game. What you on about? It is the mainest of main games. The tour tracks are the bane of your existence. Yeah, they're not great. They're not great. At least the ones based on cities. Uh, the other ones are okay, like the Yoshi's Island one. Is that from Tor? I assume that's from Tor. Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that, but I did it, and it worked out. Okay, well, that happened. Ooh. Okay, okay, we're good. Shit. Oh, this is bad, Pry. Why are you so bad at this game? Because I'm bad, and I haven't played in a long time, and I'm bad. Why you do this to me? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I can't believe I dodged all those. Oh, dude, I could have made a giant shortcut there with those mushrooms. Robbed. Robbed I was. Well. Well. Oh, Henrique, you don't think uh, Tears of the Kingdom justifies the time at all? I haven't played it. I don't know. I don't know. When am I going to continue my Zelda's Always Good series? When I feel like playing Zelda games again. Your goal is to beat me this time. So far, so good. We'll see. We shall see. You played Tears of Kingdom, you think it's better than Breath of the Wild? I assume most people probably think that, right? I struggle to imagine what they could do to fuck up the game and make it worse than Breath of the Wild. I play Smash Online with chat? I would love to, but I cannot tolerate Smash Online play. It's so bad. You don't think Smash Online is bad in your experience? You're wrong. You are wrong. It is, in my opinion, Intolerable. I refuse to play Smash Online. It is awful. I have had experiences in that game where I've had literally a full second of input lag, and that is completely unacceptable. That was completely intentional, and I actually mean it this time. I totally aimed that. That was fucking sick. What was that about beating me this time, Bravia? What was that? I don't think so, motherfucker. I like seeing a blue shell hit someone that's behind me. I'm a big fan of that. This track is so fucking goofy. It is. It's, uh... It's like a combination of that one, uh, like, ski resort track from, I think, Mario Kart Wii, and, uh, the DK track from, uh, Double Dash. Oh, you fucker. You fucker. 
You think you're cool, huh? You think, oh, I got you, pariah. I got you back. You didn't get me back. That didn't take nearly as much skill as what I did to you. You didn't win. You didn't win. Can I draw? No. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Uh, people say Splatoon's Online sucks. I mean, Splatoon's Online definitely has problems. It's not amazing. You're very clearly shooting at after images. Ever played the skate games? No, but I picked up uh, Skate 3 on Xbox recently. Uh, I want to try it out. Did I draw my own avatar? From memory? No, I have to be looking at them. Do I like strategy games? Uh, not really into strategy video games much, but I do play, like, board games, which most of which are strategy, and I usually suck at them. <laughs> I'm not good at strategy games. I'm good at action. I need real time, do the thing, then I'm good at a game. If it's not real time, use your brain, bad at a game. I hit you right now with that. Oh. What the fuck, Red Shell? Ugh. Oh, come on! Skate is such a good translation of real life skating. Yeah, I was looking into it a little bit, and the reason that I wanted to check it out is because it has, like, pumping in it, which I've never seen that in another skateboarding game before. Although I haven't really looked much into skateboarding games. There's probably a bunch of, like, really complex indie ones these days, I assume, right? Does RTS qualify as real-time games? Think about the question you just asked, and maybe rephrase your statement. Check out Session, it's a new, uh, skater sim. I mean, I'm not necessarily interested in a skating sim. I still want, like, a video game as video game. It just seemed like you could do a lot of cool stuff because of the complexity of the systems in Skate. Wow, okay. Can I get fucked more, please? How much into JRPGs am I? Not very much at all. I've played, like... Three or four JRPGs total in my entire life. Please, no lightning bolt take this from me. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Shit. Goddamn blooper. That's not what I need. Why did that person get a bullet bill and I get a blooper? Yeah, Mitch, I've heard that uh, skate is uh, pretty complex and cool. So I'm looking forward to it. Spoilers, you're probably going to see some skate gameplay in an upcoming Sonic video. Meanwhile, blooper is useless, period. It is. It really needs to... That That is the one thing with Mario Kart 8, I think, I don't like about this game. The items... There's a lot of crap in there. They really got to, like, clean out and refine the item roster desperately. Like, the blooper is useless. The boomerang seems very superfluous to me. Uh, the boo is like, whatever. 
the uh, the horn, as cool as it is to be able to destroy a blue shell, I don't know if that's really a good idea to, like, give first place an opportunity to avoid the only thing that can fuck with them. <laughs> Considering that Mario Kart is not, like, a super competitive skill-based game, it seems weird to do something like that. Honestly, I find the double item box is a questionable choice. Are there any open spots? There are, Frankie Hedgehog, after this Grand Prix. Uh, get yourself in. Oh god, I was reading chat. Fuck me. That's what I get for reading chat. I was saying that aren't most RP or most video games JRPGs? Uh... No? That's a weird thing to posit. <laughs> Zedgar, you say that, and literally I was reading that message while driving off the edge, so maybe you should take that back. Pariah character development, not blaming his chat for his failures. I mean, I was blaming me reading chat, but it's my mistake for choosing to read chat when I should be racing. Damn, I did not do well there. Damn. I am, Bravia. I am. You're right. Fortunately, as we all know, Mario Kart is just random nonsense, and how well you play basically has nothing to do with uh, whether or not you're going to win, so we can basically ignore the score. Unless I come in first, in which case it's a very skill-based game. More the chicken stream win? Never. Right after uh, the sun engulfs the Earth in approximately 5 billion years. I'll get right on it after that happens. I got 11 people now. There's still one more open slot. Links 2 tomorrow? No, I'll not be streaming tomorrow. I'll be busy. Uh, probably going to stream on Thursday, would be my guess. I did Billy Hatcher. Why not Mort the Chicken? I didn't finish Billy Hatcher because it's not good. <laughs> Why would I do a game that's even worse than Billy Hatcher after that? You prefer calling JRPGs console RPGs? So here's the thing, Zedgar. There's another video I want to make eventually. RPG as a term in video games is really weird to me. Because RPGs, role-playing games, in, like, the tabletop space, means a game where you do role-playing, where you play as a character and you improv in scenes, where you have the GM and they give you a scenario and they play NPCs and you role-play as your character and you speak for their dialogue and you, you know, dynamically go with the story. And... Like, in the video game space, very few RPGs do that kind of thing. The RPG part of video game RPGs is, like, all the Dungeons and Dragons loot and items and XP and combat and stuff. And none of that is role-playing. That's just a really complex, combat-oriented board game. So, I would argue that most RPG video games aren't even RPGs. 
They're just strategy games with a lot of story. That's just an adventure game? What, like a, a game where you, like, play your role? I mean, that's not an adventure game. Adventure games are, like, puzzle things, right? Like point-and-click adventures and text adventures and shit. VNs are more akin to RPGs than actual RPGs? Agreed. Absolutely. They are literally closer. Man, I got fucked there. Come on, I made that whole video about pinball. Why does this track gotta be like that to me? I I'm I'm one of your proponents. Now where you're exploring dungeons or whatever? Yeah, that's not exploring a dungeon has nothing to do with role playing. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> I was trying so desperately to avoid that. Oh, Sonic, what, you got a communication error? That sucks. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I'm gonna win this race. Maybe I'm being a bit overly pessimistic, but it I don't think I'm going to. Uh, uh, <laughs> I should have seen that coming. That was just me being bad. Well, I see what you're saying, uh, Rusty Junks. The thing is, like... That kind of definition of adventure game is the vaguest fucking thing in the universe. Like, the the genre tag action-adventure basically means nothing. <laughs> like, what is the common similarity between all action-adventure games? I don't know, did you play as a character? <laughs> Fuck. No, you don't. Shit, my fucking shells hit each other. You really want a Waluigi-themed pinball game? That would be really cool, but they'd never- That would actually be a great, uh, context for a Waluigi game. Make Waluigi pinball. Perfect. But they'd never do that. They did make that Mario pinball. Did anyone play that? Is that any good? I never played it. Mario Pinball blows? Damn. Metroid Prime Pinball is really sick. That's actually a really great pinball game. What about, like, the Pokemon Pinball? Or I think there's a Kirby Pinball game as well for Game Boy. Is this good space pinball? The, like, Windows pinball? I played that very little as a kid, because I wasn't interested in pinball. They should make a Sonic-themed pinball game. They have made multiple of those. They're not that good, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, Sonic Spinball, if you've ever played it, you know it's kind of fucking terrible. Uh, but Pinball Party isn't really that great, in my opinion, either. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watch Genera Generations DLC be another pinball table. Dear God. Pinball feels terrible. Yeah, it has the worst physics I've ever played in a pinball video game in my life. It's shockingly bad. 
Oh, fuck. Your communication error be due to be your Switch not being up to date? I mean, if your Switch wasn't up to date, you wouldn't be able to play online at all. So I think Shadow Generations will redeem Shadow. Like, redeem him like a coupon. Uh... No, probably not. Damn, Ina. You did well. You're doing really well in general. You keep on coming in high places. Is there anything Sonic can do right? Why even keep playing it? Because I enjoy the games despite them being messes. Actually, I mentioned earlier that I was playing some Sonic Frontiers and I've been having fun with it. While I've been having fun with it, because I've been fucking around with like mods and configuring the game to like get it as good as possible, I've really been like paying attention to the certain aspects of the game that I never really noticed before, like very specific things. That game is so badly designed in so many ways. I'm gonna have a lot to talk about when I cover it in the video. There is so much in that game that it literally, literally seems like the designers had no idea what they were doing. It's, it's kind of a baffling game. It feels like a demo. It feels like a game by people who don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Wait, what game? Sonic Frontiers. Frontiers has to be the most modded Sonic game ever. I think the most modded game is Sonic 3 Air. It's either that or SA2, I think. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God, just kill me. Just put me out of my misery. Just end it all. I'm a horse that needs to be put down. Just do it. Wow, how are you guys back here? How did you screw up as badly as I did? SADX is modded from head to toe. Yeah, lots of mods for Sonic 3 Air, SADX, and SA2. Lots, lots and lots of mods for those games. And Generations, of course. Uh, did I hear about the League Sonic game? I did. We'll see if it's actually real. I'm not gonna freak out over something that I don't know if I can even trust. I'm also probably just not going to freak out over it in general. Oh yeah, SRB2 also has like a million mods. Where are these leaks coming from? Fuck if I know. Wait, I was in second there. Has everyone been doing fucking terrible this race? What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. I DNF'd. I don't think I've ever DNF'd in this game in my entire life. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Everyone just sucked horribly at that track. <laughs> Demetrius, what are you talking about? Sonic is just an IP that keeps celebrating its past. They've blazed new trails with Sonic Frontiers. Look forward to the next Sonic game where they rip off Breath of the Wild again. The new bold direction for Sonic. 
paving the way for the next decade of games. Everyone's excited for it, right? <laughs> Can't wait for Sage to come back. Oh god, I hope not. Fuck that character. <laughs> Sonic Frontiers now with Fusion. Would they uh, sell out? I'd just be like, fine, fuck it, we'll do Dragon Ball Fusions. Fine. <laughs> We're out of ideas. I mean, they've been out of ideas for a while. Sage is literally the definition of yap. What is yap? I've never heard that before. That would have been a nice thing to have one third of a second ago. Sonic is just a trend follower now? Now? Sonic's been a trend follower forever. What do you want about? That bomb helped me out a lot. I mean, yeah, uh, what Laura says, if you really want to be specific about it, Sonic was trend, trend chasing from literally the very beginning. The core idea of Sonic was, let's make a Mario, but for Sega. They were just straight up copying what Nintendo did with Mario. <laughs> Alright, we'll do one more Grand Prix and then we'll switch to Splatoon, so... Give you all a couple, uh, give you a minute or two, if anyone wants to get in while we still have some time. And then we'll move on. They've been out of ideas since Forces. Yeah, Forces was definitely uh, a we have no ideas moment, for sure. Arguably Lost World, kind of, also. But, I mean, there was an idea. The idea was let's make a Mario game, but with Sonic in it. <laughs> it's just a terrible idea. Beat Pariah again. Have I beat you today, Bravia? I haven't been paying attention. I'm doing real bad. Yo, Samurai Gak, thank you very much for the donation. I really do appreciate that, dude. Fun games? They have been fun games. You got in on some uh, F-099, right? I didn't notice you in there, but I hope I beat you. You're too forgiving of Sonic games? That's how you enjoy Sonic games after SA1? I mean, I wouldn't say I'm forgiving of them. But I have a high bullshit tolerance thanks to them, so I can put up with it. Oh, you're in this too? Okay, you're number seven. Cool. Cool. At this point, give Sonic to someone else if the company's gonna half-ass the games anyway. I would love another developer to make a Sonic game. I would love to see that. Please, Sega, license out Sonic to another uh, development studio and let them make a 3D Sonic game. I would love to see someone else take a crack at it. Sonic Advance 3 is still my favorite Sonic game? Yep. Currently. You wish Sega outsource Sonic to Capcom? I definitely think that Capcom could make solid Sonic games. They have the chops for those kinds of uh, arcade -y action games. They 
There you are, number seven. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that was uh, mud that would slow me down. Note for the future. Anyone tries to make that turn, that'll go well. Although I don't think it hit anyone. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much, Thwomp. I was hoping I'd be able to close the gap enough to hit him with the horn, but no luck. No luck. Imagine how goofy it would be if Sega licensed it out to Nintendo. I don't think Nintendo could make a great Sonic game, honestly. Nintendo doesn't make games like that. They would not make a very Sonic-y Sonic game. You'd sacrifice the entire Sonic franchise for Klonoa 3? Aren't there a bunch of Klonoa games? There's, like, handheld ones and shit, right? But I know what you mean. You want, like, a, a full-on Klonoa 3. Who makes Klonoa? It's Namco, right? There'd be way too much filler time for it to be a Sonic game. I mean, Reset, have you played Sonic Frontiers? There's a lot of filler time in that. <laughs> They'd make a Polish game, but not a Sonic game? Yeah, I agree with that, Demetrius. They would make a good game, for sure. It would be a good, solid, uh, very fun game. But it wouldn't really be a Sonic game, I don't think. Because Sonic is just so fundamentally not what Nintendo makes. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but I guess whatever, it happened. I love the noises Birdo makes in Mario. Such weird you know, sounds. trying to hit me with a boomerang. Uh, okay. Oh, this is quite pretty. All the flowers. Looks pretty nice as far as, you know, the tour tracks go with their simpler visuals. So many turns! Ho oh, ho ho ho, there we go. There we go. Demetrius, you don't know what qualifies as a Sonic game? You know, I was thinking about making a video about exactly that. What even is a Sonic game? You got busy doing other stuff, you'll join a race in another stream? Alright, guess okay. This was the this was the last Grand Prix anyway. No worries. Three point five million copies sounds good for Sonic, but poor for a legacy franchise. A number would be depressing for a mainline Mario game. That would be like a complete failure for a Mario game. <laughs> if a Mario game doesn't sell like 
15 million copies. They fucked up. What, uh, bud dude, you screwed that up. It would be, uh, Vsauce. Hey guys, Michael here. You forgot that part. Actually, does he even say hey guys? Doesn't he just say Vsauce, Michael here? Oh, communication error? Damn. Sorry, Bravia. Sunshine, Sunshine sold like 5 mil and was universally considered underperforming? Exactly. Am I working on that April Fool's Sonic Omens video? I wasn't even thinking about April Fool's whatsoever. Should I do something for that? I kind of don't care. Yo, why is the music on this track so insanely good? Oh no, that's gonna hit me too, yep. Oh, that was- I should not have drifted there! I should not have drifted there, I would have been better off if I didn't. Shit. No! No! Dude, I could have totally won that. I could have totally won that. Come on! That was so in the bag. That was in the- y'all saw it. Y'all knew. You could feel, you could sense that I was gonna win that, right? Because I could. I knew. Typical Mario Kart tomfoolery? Indeed. Now we got one more race, Frankie Hedgehog. Kind of mind-blowing how Samus managed to sell nearly 3 mil on GameCube same year as Sunshine. I assume that was Prime 1, right? You could see the future where Pariah <laughs> won and started bragging. Now we're here instead. Yeah, you knew. You knew it was gonna happen. And then the gods of Mario Kart cast their hand upon me. I have to win this race. If I win this race, I win the Grand Prix. I have to beat Kino Rampa. They're super good. And they're playing as Mario. Who plays as Mario? Of all the characters you could play, Mario, the most boringest option available. I know someone's gonna be like, says the guy playing Baby Daisy. Yeah, that's right, because you don't know. You just don't know how cool Baby Daisy is. Because you are classless. Yeah, that's right, Gabriel. I knew what you were gonna say even before you said it. How about that? Gotcha. Gotcha. Why are you so predictable? Why are you so predictable all the time, huh?
No, boo! Because I know your sense of humor? Because I just know that the chat is filled with people who make the obvious jokes every time without fail. Y'all have no vision, no creativity. You will be punished for your lack of vision. Real Talk F099 was baller? It was. That game is super fun. Damn it, Kino Rampa, you're too good. You're too good. I haven't even been paying attention to the final result. Have I won any of these? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't even care. Another on-brand Pariah Grayscale Cup. Have I been coming in second a bunch? I literally don't even know. <laughs> GG's, everyone. That was some fun Mario Kart. Let's do some Splatoon. Let's switch over from racing to shooting. I got three cups and all of them were black and white. So does that mean I got second in all of them? I don't- I don't- I don't get what you mean. Yeah, I gotta say, I have really started to, uh, these three have grown on me. Uh, Deep Cut, Shiver and Fry, uh, especially during the Splatfest, actually getting to listen to some of their music. Uh, I like it. Their main song, uh, Anarchy Rainbow, really good. Uh, I'm starting to like these characters more. I said I would stream the Splatfest, but didn't. Yeah, I was just too busy. I didn't have time to, unfortunately. I hardly played it. But I did play a little, and I was on Team Keyboard, and Keyboard won. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, how's my Inkling looking, or Octoling looking these days? Now I'm feeling kind of fresh. This is the very on-brand Pariah, isn't it? Th this is the Pariah uh, Splatoon character, right? Pretty sick. Yeah. How's time attacking PvP been? Uh, super fun. It's great. I love it. Uh, you'll see some of it in uh, the video going up tomorrow. Or later today if you check out the Patreon of Coffee. So I got the, uh, the sea snails. Yeah, so I can use these to, like, upgrade my shit. Or re-roll its abilities for a bunch of random new ones. Okay. Or I could boost the star power. Well, everything I'm wearing already has max slots. Okay. Um. I actually would like to reroll the mask. That guy looks like the alien from Lilo and Stitch. He kind of does. I don't like that either. Come on, give me some good stuff. I don't like that either. <laughs> I tried working on, uh, like, actually building a loadout, and it's, like, impossible. <laughs> like, it takes so many ability chunks to, like, put what you want on your gear. I'm never gonna be able to do that. I think I have, like, no money, right? Because I've been buying a bunch of shit. Yeah, I'm poor as fuck right now. What do I think about Table Turf? Honestly, I haven't played a single game of it, and I don't even care to. Do I have a booster going on right now? I think I do. I don't. Or, no, I do. Okay, yeah. It's got eight uses left on it. Uh, how do I... Yeah, we got some splat zones. Create a room. There you go. The room, uh, the, the pool, whatever it's called, is just Pariah695, just my username. So if anyone wants to get in, let's get in. 
Drink a money booster? Well, you can only have one booster active at a time, right? So I want to let this, you know, run its course before I uh, put on another one. I just picked up this gun. I dig it. It's a, like a fast-firing semi-auto. I'm a big fan of semi-autos and shooters, and uh, Splatoon didn't really have a weapon like this. Uh, at least I didn't have a weapon like this. And it's really good. It's got good range. I dig it. Still getting used to uh, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller that I picked up recently. The shape of it is a little weird. And it can also go to a full auto mode. This is a good gun. Anybody else getting in? One thing you like in Mario games are Mario enemy names. Uh... Sorry, I was reading the other thing. Uh, do I accept fan art? I mean, I don't have, like, a Twitter or anything, but if you want to send it to me on, like, email or something, sure. Uh, you're still in the Splatoon 2 ghetto? I mean, Splatoon 2 is good. It's just, why would you play that when you could play this? All right, I guess, uh, we'll just go. Uh, I didn't get the one with the auto bomb. Uh... I probably just am not leveled up enough to get it yet. I'm only, like, rank 20, I think. Can I resend the invite? You don't need an invite. You can just join. Uh, but I, I can't at this point. So I'll have to wait to do a match, and then we'll uh, I'll open it back up. How was my week? Uh, it went pretty well. It was very busy. I had a lot of stuff going on. Uh... I played some board games with friends. That was fun. Splatoon 3 was in a rough state. It was pretty unbalanced. Is it better now? I don't know. I've only been playing this game for like a month. So I don't really know what what's good or what's bad or what's balanced or what's not. Talking about uh, Mario enemy names, this is something I probably want to bring up in one of the Zelda reviews at some point eventually. I really like that Zelda games have, like, a naming scheme to the species and the creatures of enemies. Oh, fuck. Like how Deku seems to be a term for, like, uh, kind of plant animal creatures, or, um, how, uh... Fos means, like, a humanoid, because you have, like, Stalfos, which are skeletons, and Lizalfos, which are lizard men. Like, someone thought about that, and they did that on purpose, and I think that's cool. Yeah, stalls are skeletons, because you have Stalfos, but you also have the stall child. All that kind of stuff. And then they have the... Wow, we got wrecked immediately. Holy shit. And then they have the Bokos in uh, Wind Waker. And you have uh, Bokoblins, which are introduced in that game, and Boko Babas. And it's a little weird, like, what's the connection between a Bokoblin and a Boko Baba? But then I was thinking, I bet you a Boko means, like, new. Like, a new version of an existing thing. Because Bokoblins are like Moblins. And Boko Babas are like a new species of Deku Baba, right? So then that also means the Babas are like those plant things with the mouths. All this stuff... I love it. Why did they do all that? <laughs> they did not need to think about that that much. Alright, how do I invite people? Like this. Yo, what's up, Jimmy Duke? Everyone has different usernames, so I don't know who's who. Okay, that's Ryan R. All right, I guess we'll go in. Let's not get horribly wrecked as much this time, eh? That sounds good.
You love this song? What song is playing right now? Yeah, it's, it's all right. I I really liked in the Splatfest the uh, the song with uh, Pearl Marina and Shiver and Fry together. That song is pretty dope, man. I mean, Splatoon music in general is pretty amazing. You're watching my Sonic Heroes vid? Uh, the complexity is definitely something you noticed as a kid. Yeah, uh, I played that game, like, so fucking much as a kid, so I figured it all out and learned how to deal with all the bullshit. Uh, and yeah, a lot of people just never figure out all the cool stuff in that game, unfortunately. Why is it taking so long to find a game? Jeez. Your favorite song is that? Is that the song by Pearl where she swears a bunch in it? That's hilarious. <laughs> Pearl is such a fun character. I love her. Heroes is getting a remake. We'll see. We will see. Oh yeah, no, I, I saw the video, uh, Super Static Pro with the lyrics. Yeah, it's fun. It's got, uh, good representation of everyone's characters. Also, the art for it was super sick. Everyone with their new outfits. Have I played the other Paper Mario games? No, just the first one. I will probably play Thousand Year Door when the remake comes out. Watch those goddamn mofucking snipers. Haha. -ha. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, Luca, what's up? Remake will probably fix some issues of the original game. Does uh, the original game have a lot of issues? Seems like everybody loves it. It's usually considered, like, the favorite Paper Mario, right? Oh, no. Ugh. Don't get killed. Ugh. Oh. Oh, shit. Good use of the bow there. That was really well played by them. What's the next game I'm going to play after? This is probably the last game of the stream. I'll go for, like, another 40 minutes or so until the hour. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yup. I screwed that up horribly. Would I ever consider giving game number... Games number ratings? Uh, I would consider never doing that. No. Fuck, I missed. The radius on that is quite tiny, actually. I'll be doing Salmon Run today? I don't know. If I feel like it. What? The sniper got me? I thought I was out of range. Damn. I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. I'm 
gonna I'm gonna stay up here and avoid that. What? What? I didn't kill them? How did I not kill them? Do you always do that? For example, Sonic Frontiers is a 7 out of 10 uh, with you. I, I don't rate my feelings on numbers. I just describe how I feel. Love my content, Luca? Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy it. I love that you watch my content. What about rating on letters? How about I just rate on how I like it or not? <laughs> I do not think we're going to win this game. I don't think we're going to win it. I'll be honest. Oh, that has range. That has more range than most snipers, it looks like. Yeah, we wiped out. Just get good and you can still win. The enemy team is good. They were playing well. Maybe if their paintbrush didn't lag. Yeah, well, that's Splatoon Online for you. It's laggy. I got some good style on some of them. That, uh, that one second from the left. Very cool looking. You guys need help? Sure! Come on in, Polo. I'm gonna change my gear. I'm learning a new weapon, and I'm, like, holding the team back. Here. Uh, yes, I'm cool with that gear. I was using this Scatling for a while. It is extremely good. I, I haven't used much of the, uh, the, like, soda buff thing for a while. And then I started using this loadout, and I'm like, holy shit, it's insanely good. Gatlings in general seem like incredibly good weapons, because, uh... Splatoon definitely seems like a game where just having the range advantage is so powerful. Like, you can shoot them, and they can't shoot you. Doesn't get much better than that. You're holding off until Switch 2 comes out to play the most recent Nintendo games? At this point, that's probably a good idea. I'd probably do the same thing if I didn't already have a Switch. You're curious how do people with colorblindness feel about this game? Uh, it has colorblind options in there, bud dude. So there you go. A lot of people using Gatling this game. Wow, they actually hit me with that thing. <laughs> no one ever uses that effectively. Am I Octoling Gang or Inkling Gang? I play as an Octoling. Uh, I like the face more on the Octoling. That was a bad move. I was like, I'm gonna do something unexpected. And yeah, it was unexpected because it was a bad, you shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I made it. Fuck it, hell man. It's not going well. It's not going well.
Oh, fuck. Was I killed by the goddamn wave breaker? Oh, no, it was an ink storm. Damn. <laughs> it's not going well. Someone just fell off. Why does Sniper get that ability to charge and then uh, go into the ink and swim around? I want to be able to do that with a friggin' uh, with a Gatlin. Although it makes perfect sense why you can't do that. That would be insane. Oh shit. Wow, they have a lot of movement speed on. It definitely shows. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we got a win. Nice. Knowing Nintendo, every Switch game is going to have a $10 patch to upgrade its performance on the Switch 2. See, I would imagine that they just wouldn't have performance improvements. Because Nintendo is just like that. They'd be like, no, it doesn't run better. It doesn't run at a higher resolution. It could. But we're just not going to make that a thing. <laughs> That's the Nintendo way to do it. I can't wait for Age of Calamity to become playable someday. I mean, you could probably play it on an emulator that uh, you can find somewhere on the internet. The performance mode is a Nintendo Online bonus. See, y'all are thinking too scummy. Nintendo isn't scummy. Nintendo is just clueless. They just wouldn't do that. <laughs> Their games would just not have imp uh, performance improvements on Switch 2. That's what I predict. Yo, who's not readying up? Jimmy Duke, ready up. Come on. Gotta be on our streak. I'm sorry, the Sonic Heroes remake is confirmed not being in development. Is there new news? Yo, I noticed this before. Look at this effect. It's really good. Like, you're a 2D image, but it can still, like, spin around and have three-dimensional depth to it. It's really impressive looking. I've never seen an effect like that before. A Switch 2 didn't have performance improvements, that would be the main selling point of a Switch 2? No, I'm sure the Switch 2 itself will run better. I mean, if you're playing Switch games on Switch 2, Nintendo would just be weird and be like, no, you go into Switch mode and it plays exactly like it does on Switch. Oh, sorry, Polo. Everyone uses different usernames, so I didn't know if that was you or not you or whatever. Yo, this map looks sick. I've not played on this map before. I love this, like, giant weird underpass complex. What the fuck is this? Oh no. 
This is based on a real place in Japan, is it? Damn. That's cool. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Wow, holy shit. They sniped my ass fast. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello. It's a very tiny zone to be fighting over. Yes. Excellent. Oh, yeah. There we go. What a cool map, just visually. I love it. Incidentally, when the hell is the next Nintendo Direct? Don't they normally have them, like, on the same months every year? I don't know when they have them. All right, I'm going to disband this group so that way other people can get a chance to get in. Well played, everybody. Well played. You should main Octo Brush. Brushes are pretty good. I was messing around with Brush for a while. It was very fun. Uh, leave room. Nintendo Directs feel lame nowadays. I mean, I don't even watch Nintendo Directs, so I couldn't even say. I tried the Nautilus. It can charge hold. Is that a... the Gatling type? I'm not even level 30 yet, so I can't even get all the weapons. And I think I'm out of Sheldon tickets right now. So, I have what I have. I don't think I have the Nautilus. This weapon's also weird, because it's like a... It's like a pen. There's like three pens on like an ink thing. And that's just part of that weird stuff in Splatoon, where they, they have repurposed technology from the human era that they didn't understand what it was, and they turned it into other stuff. That's a fun thing that's always been there in Splatoon. Like, the fashion has just weird things. I remember in either Splatoon 1 or 2, the single-player outfit, like, on the back of the shoes is, like, lacrosse, uh... What do you call those? The things you use to play lacrosse with. The, the cups at the end of the stick. They were just, like, sticking out of the back of your shoes. It was a fashion thing. Fun stuff like that in Splatoon. What a unique, weird, cool vision this whole series is. I love it. And it's so, like, 
unlike everything else Nintendo makes. It's so, like, modern and new. Because Nintendo makes very, you know, antiquated things because their shit's been around for, like, 40 years. And then they have this. It's so weird. But I'm all about it. Wow, wait, what? Oh, it was an ink storm that killed me. Demetrius, that's the moral of, like, every story with you. You love complaining about Sonic and Sega. Get over it, man. It sucks. Accept it. Much easier that way. Fuck. Do I play any RPGs? Not really. Couple. I've played Personas 3, 4, and 5. I like those games. Shit. I should have had that. Gotcha. I'll take a trade on that. This is one of your favorite stages for how squarish it is. Something that I've noticed about Splatoon, and this has been the case since the very first game, every map is very, uh, like, tight. Like, the maps are not very wide. It's like one lane, and there's just kind of extra stuff around the sides to, like, approach from different angles, but it's not like, uh, a lot of multiplayer maps that are more, like, bowl shapes that really allow you to really flank, like, all the way behind the opponent or stuff. Just not a- there's not a thing in Splatoon. Where are you going? You don't like Inkling because the Nair sucks? You talking Smash now? I don't play Inkling, personally. Oh, yeah. They're using that high-range one. That thing is pretty good if you can get the hits, but it's got such a slow rate of fire. Do I like heavy metal? Uh, I'm not hugely into music in general, but what I do listen to, yeah, heavy metal is uh, cool. That's mainly Splatoon 3's map design. I mean, I distinctly recall Splatoon 1 and 2 maps that were very much like that as well. That fucking brush. I always keep trading with him. Sonic's moveset is really lame in Smash. Sonic's moveset is perfectly fine, minus the fact that he has two spin dashes. That is literally the only thing that I think needs to be fixed about his moveset. Oh, fuck. Uh, 
oh no, not the Splat 3 map discussion. Having played all three Splatoon games pretty similar amounts, the map design in this game does not feel notably worse or different compared to what I remember from the previous two games. It feels mostly the same. But of course, I'm not like a super duper hardcore Splatoon person. All the Splatoon games, which is my favorite? I mean, if I'm gonna play a Splatoon for multiplayer, I'm just gonna play Splatoon 3. Because it's just the biggest and best and got the most stuff in it. Uh, for single player, it would be Splatoon 2 overall is my favorite. Because of Octo Expansion. Although this game also has great single player between uh, Splatoon 3 and uh, Side Order. I would really like the single player here too. Also, this game is the better version of Salmon Run. I mean, to me, it's pretty simple. Splatoon has only gotten better with every entry, in my opinion. Everyone hates the map design in this game? Well, I don't. I'm fine with it. It's just the design philosophy of how these maps are built. You just understand it and you play with it and I think it works and this game does have some wide maps it has like the one on the skate park uh, I think that's a Splatoon 2 map that one's very wide there's the one in the the amusement park where it's got like the spinning thing in the middle that one you can really flank around I couldn't even see. Holy shit. <laughs> nice. Oh, good kill. Wow, okay. We got wrecked horribly. I never even got to the point. <laughs> Holy shit. The new airport map is wide open. Have I played on the new airport map? I think I did. I don't remember what it's like. Dang, we got destroyed. It happens sometimes. Sometimes you just get destroyed. See, Lego Boy, I don't know Splatoon well enough to recall any map by name, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what any map in any Splatoon game is called. I don't know what the map we just played on is called. I know the map at the rock climbing gym... <laughs> You miss Splatoon 1's weapon balance? I mean, I like having more weapon types. That makes the game more fun. I haven't felt particularly uh, major problems with balance in this game. If anything, the only thing I've really noticed is some weapons seem kind of just bad. Uh, the, the Brellas seem like just a bad weapon type to me. Maybe I just suck, but the buckets also don't seem very good. Is 
Is there a mod that makes the ink guns into actual guns? Well, how would you, what would the effect of the ink on the floor be if it was bullets? Ow. Like, do you mean it would change the gameplay? Well, that person has movement speed for days. Blood. You know, that's something I noticed uh, while playing this game. There's lots of different ink colors that uh, can show up, but never red. There is never red ink. Probably because they don't want it to look like blood. Oh, hello. Here's another thing I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking about the final Splatfest for Splatoon 3 and what it might entail. Because obviously Splatoon 1 final Splatfest was uh, Callie and Marie. And then Splatoon 2 was uh, Chaos vs. Order, which is representative of Pearl and Marina, their characters, right? So I was thinking, what will be the Splatfest for Splatoon 3? Because it's, you know, three-way Splatfest, so it's got to be a three-way choice. And I was thinking, you know what it's going to be? I, I'm placing bets on this. It's going to be Squid Sisters versus Off the Hook versus Deep Cut. That's what I'm calling. And that's not going to go well, because anyone with any good taste is obviously going to pick Off the Hook, right? Naturally. Where's the enemy team? They're just, like, not on the point. Oh, nice shot. Hello. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. That's the problem with Gatling. This is, uh, people can get the drop on you, and a lot of times you're not gonna be able to, uh, retaliate. Sometimes you can if, uh, you're really on the ball and they screw up. That was a little bit of Splatoon lag right there. He killed my after image. Great place for that. I'm sure the team will definitely be able to take advantage of everything there. Oh, hello. <laughs> I should have expected that to happen. That didn't go well either. Damn. FOV, yeah, it's field of view. It's how wide the angle of the camera is. The wider the camera angle is, the more you can see. They were pretty good, go uh, pretty good though. They were, and they were pretty stylish. They had good-looking uh, characters. I'm gonna swap weapons. Actually, does my uh, did my boost run out? It might have. I got one more. Okay, I'll keep going. Finish that off, and then next time I'll swap weapons and uh, activate a different boost. People complain about the FOV in this game, too. I think the FOV is perfectly good. I never feel like I can't see what I need to see. Wants for Splatoon 4? Honestly, I'm pretty good on Splatoon. I could go uh, many years without a Splatoon 4. I feel like this is everything you could ever want out of Splatoon. I think it, when they eventually do another Splatoon game, I would like to see them really shake things up and change it, because every Splatoon game has just been the same game that they've been adding to. 
I would like to see something very different for Splatoon 4. Rebuild it from the ground up and uh, maybe rethink some things. Come at it from a new angle. That's what I would like to see. <laughs> you know what? Here's a specific thing. Please stop with all the fucking rotation crap. Just have all the maps available at all times. Have all the game modes available at all times. I'm fucking so sick of that stupid shit. <laughs> like, just today, I found a map I've never played before. I've played this game for, like, 15, 20 hours, and I've never seen it maps in it just because of the dumbass rotation system. Oh, this song is really good. Splatoon 99. Oh, oh, I should have gone up on the wall. That might have provided safety. Could I stop cursing? Your dad's on the couch next to you. I apologize. I'll be sure not to fucking curse anymore. See, now we're being like the teams we've been facing on this map. Oh, hello. There we go. Destroyed. I stop cursing in front of your cats. Okay, well, I'll stop for that. Nice job, team. I'll uh, start another lobby. Let other people rotate back in. Did your dad shut your Wi-Fi off last stream? Why? Because I curse? Look, if you're a little chillin', you shouldn't be watching this stream. This is an adults-only stream where we play children's games. He's hitting you now? No problem. Anytime. Hey, Pingle Fingle's dad. They're watching, uh, someone, uh, they're watching mature content that they shouldn't be watching. You should discipline them. Oh, wait, no, I want to leave the room. There we go. I want to focus on XP because I want to get to level 30. Uh, switch my weapon too. Let's go with... Hmm. I was using this Brella for a while. Uh, it's it's okay. It's like the best Brella I've found. Yeah, you know, I actually do like the Splatana quite a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with some Splatana action. Why not? Probably only going to do, like, one or two games anyway. All right, I got to send invites.
Wait, an actual sword? It's funny, it's a windshield wiper. <laughs> Which is a hilarious way to do a sword in the context of Splatoon. Oh, today's your birthday, Bravia? Happy birthday. Birthday stream, you get to beat Pariah at Mario Kart. That seems like a good time to me. Sweet fade away? Yeah, they don't like Nintendo games. They usually do that. That's fine. Whatever. Do I eat at buffets? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that's like a regular activity. It's not a hobby of mine. <laughs> Actually, at the, uh, the robotics tournament that I went to, because we won, we got, uh, we got invited to, like, a banquet, uh, because the event was being held at the same time as, like, a, a tech event, like, in the same place, and so there was, like, an ending ceremony banquet for the tech event, and because we fucking won a robotics tournament, we got to sit in for it and have free food, which was super cool, but it was also weird. A lot of death over here. Fuck. I did that badly. Don't shut up about robots. It's very cool. I just got into it. It was only my second tournament that I've ever gone to. And I kind of feel bad about it, because I don't know shit about anything. My friend's the one that built the bot. I'm just the guy that comes in and drives it. Hey, someone. We're toward the end of the stream. This is probably going to be... Maybe I'll do one more match after this. It's all about how you know in life. I assume you're trying to say who you know there, right? I mean, it's just one of my friends. Does my bot have a voice? Uh, no. My bot is very simple. It's a control bot, it's called. So it doesn't have any weapons. It's just, uh... A thing on wheels with some tongs that it uses. Forks, I guess they're called. To, uh... Just push enemy bots around and, like, incapacitate them. Blech. Don't want to get carried in Salmon Run by yours truly? I don't need you to carry me in, carry me in Salmon Run. I do perfectly fine in that mode. What I need is competent teammates. That is not something I always have when playing Salmon Run. Fuck. Playing video games gave me better motor skills? Yeah, I think that's I exactly why I've done so well in it. It's just because it's controlling a thing digitally with a controller. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> Got a lot of experience with it. Wow, I'm getting wrecked. Wow, 
What the fuck is happening? Yeah, someone mute him, please. I think Bravia is in the match, so they can't do it. Wow, what the hell even killed me there? That was a splat bomb. That would be why I died immediately. That is the only bucket I ever see people using, is that one. Oh, I didn't even see that person. I was looking at the person ahead. Did we win? I don't even know. Oh, Bravia, can you get that too, please? All right, one more game. One more game. Yeah, we didn't do so well there. I mean, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. There's a robot look in this game. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of weird customization you can get. Oh, look at that. We'll still do one more game. But everything's changing now. What are we playing now? Clam Blitz? I'm okay with Clam, bl clam Blitz. I like this mode. Speaking of modes, by the way, uh, uh, the recent Splatfest was my first uh, Splatoon 3 Splatfest because I just got the game. Uh, and I don't like Turf War. Turf War is boring as fuck. But uh, Tricolor Turf War? That is a fun fucking mode. I really dig that. I wish that was just a normal mode you could play. It is so much better than uh, fucking normal Turf War. It's so interesting being in the middle and having to defend from having a point to defend for one I like and two you have to defend from two po uh, two sides uh, and then yeah you have the uh, when you're on the team of two having just two people and having to pull it all out just with that very cool. Oh, they killed each other. No one mind me. Uh, sad Tricolor is probably going to be gone when Splatfests are over. Yeah. Well, play it while you can. Ow. Is 
that a dynamo roller? Yeah, it is. Okay. I didn't even see that person. I was looking at the, uh... The, the upgrade thing that I wanted to get. Gotcha. Is that worth it? I don't know, but I did it. I missed. I missed. I fell short. Thought. What the heck is going on? It's chaos. Wait, what is happening? There's some weird stuff happening in chat. What's happening? Everyone is being weird. Whoa! You got it ready? I mean, if shit starts happening, just go. Just use it. I encourage a disgusting abuse of power for my moderators. Can I just... Can I just sneak this through? No, I cannot. Oh, but I got the carry. Nice job. Nice job bringing that in. I wasn't ready. Ah, really? Bravia, no warning. Just go. Just go. I don't know what happened either, Mitch. I have no idea what's going on in chat. I'm very confused. There seems to be a lot of confusion going on here. I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening. Chat is becoming a murder mystery. Jesus Christ. This is a mess. Alright, I'm ending the stream anyway. What the hell are you all doing in there?
Yeah, Gabriel's been here for a while in many streams, and they've been fine. I don't know what the hell is going on. Great stream, by the way. Thanks. Uh, I just want to sort this out. What the fuck? I was going to end the stream anyway. I, I just, what the fuck is happening? Okay, uh, let's do some of this. We'll do that. That's a starting point. You were only listening in the background, so you had even less clue of what's happening? I don't even know what's happening. It's fine, Lego boy. I know you're cool. Okay. I don't know what the who the fuck you are or what you're on about, but Gabriel's been in this chat for a long time and they're fine, and I've never seen you before, so... How about that? How about we just, uh, clean that up? Honestly, Demetrius, I have no idea what just happened. But I think we're okay now. I think we're okay. I seem to have weeded out uh, some problems. I'm gonna go review who's been on the channel and make sure that everything is on the up and up after the stream. Because what the what the fuck, Gabriel? No, you're fine. You've been in this chat before. I recognize you. You've never been a problem. I I don't know what the hell. The people that were bad-mouthing you, I've banned them currently. I bleh. Sorry about that. I don't know what was happening. Yeah, no. The people that were talking about Gabriel are gone now. Because what the fuck? I don't even know. Strange. Strangest stream ending, you maybe screw you swear a lot. What is swearing is fine, whatever. You're fine, Sonic White. Truly a moment. It let's just move on. It's taken care of, it's done, whatever. <laughs> anyway, what am I planning on streaming next? I don't know. Uh, something uh, I'll be streaming Blinks 2 hopefully soon, probably next week if my 360 is working. Uh, and then, I don't know, I was thinking of maybe doing, a Sonic Heroes PO6 double feature, uh, and I guess with the new maybe Sonic Heroes news thing, maybe now would be a good time. We'll see. I'll stream whatever I feel like streaming. Anyway, remember, uh, Penny's Big Breakaway video will be up on Patreon and Coffee later today, uh, tonight, whatever. And then it'll go up publicly tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm quite happy with the video. I think it's pretty good. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for playing with me. It was fun. I'll see you all later.